Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how to initialize an unstructured block. So unlike structured meshing, where when you create a block, it's initialized using transfinite interpolation and the points and connectivity and all that information is stored implicitly, with an unstructured block, that information, the points and the connectivity, that's stored explicitly. And so we give you an opportunity after creating that watertight representation, that block, to set up very specific attributes, things like T-Rex parameters, maybe specific attributes for the uh, tetrahedral elements that'll be generated as well. And then you can click initialize to populate that block. And sometimes depending on the complexity of that block, it can take some time to initialize. So when we originally create that block, you'll notice that here in the list panel that this block that I've selected, it's empty. So after you create a block, you'll notice that it is empty and you have an opportunity to set up all of those attributes and then initialize it. Now there are a couple of different ways to initialize an unstructured block. I can click initialize up here in the toolbar to populate it just using the default attributes since I haven't set any on the block level. Or again, if I want to set up some very specific attributes, uh, maybe set up T-Rex, I could go to grid T-Rex. I could specify some parameters. I could maybe go to the attributes tab and specify some parameters for the tetrahedral elements that will be generated in that block. And then I could go to the solve tab and click initialize. Now, if I don't click initialize here, but I've set up some attributes and I accept all of them, I could come back here and click the initialize button and it will use those attributes to populate that block. So I'm going to go ahead and click initialize. And you'll notice that this block now has 11,669 points. It's been populated. So that's how you go ahead and initialize an unstructured block. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.